Guess what this is? It's freaking delicious. Mm. China has Pizza Hut, and it is good. Surprisingly enough, in China, Pizza Hut is a fancy restaurant. No kidding. Purpose of this video, no real purpose. Haven't put up a video in a while, so I figured, hey, I got some stuff I want to show that I have here. And talk about some food and junk and Chinese people and that kind of stuff. So, other than Pizza Hut, well, actually, one of my students hooked me up today. I was going to go get pizza. She's like, oh, I have pizza that I saved that I couldn't finish. And she gave me one of these. It's apparently, it's like, uh, looks like shrimp, green peppers, pineapple, and I guess that's crab meat. You see that, that pink thing right there? The pink and white? I guess that's crab meat. I don't know. Someone leave a comment and tell me what it is because I'm not sure. And I think that's octopus on the left in that corner. Some weird stuff. But it's really, really good. Saves me, saves me a few bucks for dinner. Thanks to her. Very nice. Oh, got something to show you. So, there's some interesting fruit here. I mean, some of you guys probably already know what this is, but I don't care. I haven't had some in the, in the States. So for me, this is special. If you don't think it's special, then screw you. So this is lychee, right? We all know the lychee fruit, right? Well, maybe some people only know what it is from the inside, not the outside. It looks like a little, like a little red walnut, I guess. But it, it's a lot easier to open. All right? Mm. Lychee shot. So this is the lychee fruit. It is freaking delicious. I mean, in the States, you can find lychee juice here and there. A bunch of different places. Oh, shoot. Crap. Ah. <laughs> uh, that dripped on my keyboard. I'm going to regret it later. Oh, man. That sucks. All right. Anyway. I knew it was going to drip. I should have. I should have known. I mean, I should have known better. I, it always does. But stupid me. I wasn't thinking about it. And this bad boy right here. It's a dragon fruit. So this uh, looks freaking amazing. It's like a badass fruit. It's like if, if there was like a king of the jungle for fruits, I think this would be it. This is like the most badass fruit I've seen in a very long time. So when looking at this thing, you would think it would be like, I don't know, pink or red or maybe even orange inside, something like that. Maybe white, maybe just white. Let's take a look. Warning, I don't know how to peel this, so I'm just gonna cut it open. It's like a, looks like an Oreo milkshake <laughs> or something like that. Oreo milkshake fruit. Why call it dragon fruit? Just call it Oreo milkshake fruit. All right, check that out. That's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Looks like this on the inside and like that on the outside. Come on, that's diversity for you. And then this thing right here. It looks like one of those gold or yellow apples. You remember those things, right? But it's not. It's a pear, I think. I mean, that's what they told me. It's a pear. I don't know if that's true. Um, but it's 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 it literally tastes like water. If you cut it open and you chew it, it's like if water was in solid form, it would be this thing right here. But I guess it's like an apple. That's like a pear on the inside. It's some weird stuff going on. So as of late, I've been getting a lot of, uh, not, well, not me personally, but other people have been talking about me or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, as far as, uh, it's a little strange. I, it, it's like I, I'm getting some random criticism. I asked my friend, see, I live in this little closed residence in the garden. And so one of my friends explained to me, or the teachers they explained to me that um the assumption uh and i don't know i'm not gonna say chinese culture in general because I, I wouldn't know if that's true or not but the assumption in this city or around the surrounding provinces is that if you are taking a girl home at night then the assumption is that you're sleeping with this girl i don't know what that's about so 
I bring plenty of girls home at night. I mean, I have a lot of friends that are girls, and they hang out, and they sleep over, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I, was, so I asked my friend, because there's one of the guards that I always speak to, or try to speak to. You know, he doesn't speak English. I don't speak Chinese, really, so how do you speak to him? Um, but as of late, and as of late, he hasn't been speaking to me as much. So I asked her, hey, why do you think this is? And she tells me, well, maybe it's because you bring a lot of girls home at night. So he thinks you're a bad guy. I said, what? I didn't know Chinese people could be that judgmental. But apparently that might be true. Actually, the other night at the club, I went to the, um, to the club bar with one of my students, adult students, by the way. And one of the guys there that was, um, he was at the bar too, and he started talking to her. And then later on, she told me, oh, oh well, he was telling me that he thinks you're a bad guy because you come to the bar and you leave with different girls or when you leave with girls all the time. And I said, well, I leave with the same girls all the time because I come with the same girls all the time. I don't understand how that makes me a bad person, but I'm pretty sure that was just him trying to get into her head and take her himself but whatever that's their business not mine so it seems to me that uh well at least where i live chinese people are very very critical of people taking girls to their home very often so that makes me wonder if the assumption is that if you bring a girl home at night and she stays at your house that you're sleeping with her then were those girls thinking that I was going to sleep with them just because they came to my house at night? Oh my god. Isn't that awkward? Anyway, see you guys next time when I think of something more creative to bring up later.